Hey, it's your guy, guy here, neighborhood superhero here, back at it again with another video. Welcome back here. Good evening, more than one and a half million people from around the world say they plan to be in tiny Lincoln County on September 20th as part of a plan to storm Area 51, the top secret military base. Another million or so say they're thinking about joining the protest movement to pierce the secrecy surrounding the mysterious base. Oh boy, this is really happening. Where the President of the United States talked to Kanye West to free ASAP Rocky from Swedish prison. And more than one million people signed up to Naruto run into Area 51 to see them aliens. Can we just go back to the ice bucket challenge? <laughs> yes, please. Can we please go back to that? That would be so much better. No, but genuinely, this is what happens when you give humans internet for 30 years. I can only imagine what happens five years from now, so you better subscribe to the Otozi channel. Because of my current business model, I would have to run out of morons on the internet to be out of video ideas. And based on the current track record, I think I'll be set for a while. So apparently the Storm Area 51 thing is becoming a Woodstock 2.0 in the neighboring towns of Area 51. Area 51 one is almost synonymous with secrecy and even though the person who proposed this idea meant it as a joke it's taken on a life of its own in news reports social media and in ominous warnings issued by the u.s military this is what rush hour looks like on groom lake road the main drag into area 51 as a few employees dash for home and others ride the bus with the blacked out windows now imagine a million people with cars rvs and tents out here it would be a madhouse for anyone going to this area during this time, please make sure that you're self-sufficient. For your own safety, bring enough gas, bring more than enough water, bring enough food. The local restaurants here, they're used to having like a few hundred people at a time, not thousands of people. We have no idea how many people are actually going to show up. So yeah, be self-sufficient, guys. And yes, that also includes blankets because it gets cold as F at nighttime in the desert, any shelter, jumper cables, and or power banks. But this started off as a Naruto runner's joke, and now I'm giving out survival advice. I'm living for this right now. What is even going on? What does it mean to identify as a Naruto runner? Someone who runs with their hands behind their back. Always? Oh yeah, it's their Naruto run lifestyle. Because if people are actually pulling up to Area 51, <coughs> looks like I will because my last video is almost up 50,000 likes. I really should have put a higher like goal. At this point, I might as well just create a song to raid Area 51 too. But the man behind the viral Facebook event calling the internet to show up and raid Area 51, claiming if we Naruto run, their bullets cannot hit us. Let's see the aliens. He actually went on to channel 8 Eyewitness News. This is the Facebook page that started the Fuhrer. It was always meant as sarcasm and contains several clues to that effect. Its creator never meant to suggest that a million people could invade Area 51 in the belief that the military can't possibly shoot them all. The idea has been proposed multiple times over the years, but this time it caught fire. Because I posted it on like June 27th and it was kind of a joke and then it waited for like three days, like 40 people and then it just completely took off out of nowhere. That's pretty wild. Matty Roberts has declined to be interviewed until now in part because once his idea sailed past 500 thousand signatories he was concerned he might get a knock at the door i was just like the fbi is going to show up to my house and it, it got a little spooky from there no for real like for him to make a joke on facebook about raiding area 51 then more than one million people suddenly signs up saying yeah we're doing it you know even though most people understand it's a joke only if one percent shows up that's ten thousand people i'd honestly be scared joke or not businesses on both ends of that stretch of the road are now preparing for an invasion of visitors it's been insane Connie West owns what used to be the Rachel Bar and Grill. The name changed to the Little Alien after Bob Lazar's story first broke in 1989. Since then, it's sold ET-themed burgers, booze, and other merchandise. The inn's 10 rooms are booked solid around the September 20th target date, so Connie is clearing 30 acres where visitors can camp and listen to four or more bands that say they're coming. This is really turning into Woodstock 2.0. Travis Scott is even rumored to pull up according to this Instagram post. Wait, actually, I'm going to read this Instagram post. I can't read it. I'm so sorry, Daniel. You're going to have to follow that Instagram page. Yo, Travis, how many likes for you to perform at the Area 51 raid? If you can get over 5 million likes, I got you on good. Holy f say no more. That was so funny of you leaning back and going, well, all right, sorry, Daniel. You're going to have to <laughs> 
I can't read the Instagram thing because I'm not signed into my Instagram. Why do Instagram meme accounts have to private themselves? I know this is really off topic, but it's really annoying. I know it's a whole marketing thing because that's when other people give you shout outs, you want it to be private. So they're more attempted to hit follow because they want to see what you have. Because if they just click onto your page and then see you just post a bunch of stale memes, they're like, ah, I won't follow. But if they follow you because you're private and forget about it, that's how you win. I guess that's the marketing strategy there. I went off topic. Let's get back into the video. Let's see them aliens. Because what we just saw, that is not the only outskirt of Area 51 that is getting ready for a festival. At the eastern end of the ET highway, behind the 50-foot gort-like robot, an even bigger collection of space-themed merchandise awaits visitors to the Alien Research Center. Employee Linda Looney, that's her name. Uh, yeah, that was the most passive insult ever. Yep. That's her name. Come on. The owner of the center is Las Vegas businessman George Harris, creator of Alien Tequila. He says he checked with Lincoln County Sheriff before he started making plans to accommodate hundreds, maybe thousands of campers and visitors. He'll have bands, food trucks, and speakers. Harris is happy to take advantage of the business, but is also serious about UFOs and secrecy. Of course, opportunistic businessmen are now a part of this. Food trucks and bands. Let's get it. Raid Area 51 with some food trucks and bands in the background. I mean, like, honestly, you would need, like, some band music to raid Area 51 in. No matter where you are, what you're doing, there's always going to be opportunistic businessmen somewhere trying to find a profit. Yeah, that's just capitalism for you. They're like, hey, <laughs> A-L-M-A-O, right, guys? Let's see them aliens, bro. No, th this man literally owns a, uh, vo no, a, is it a vodka or a tequila brand that's called Alien Distillery or whatever, Alien whatever, vodka or Alien Tequila. Yeah. That's amazing. It'd be like that. So there's going to be a live band. Apparently. Is the Walmart Yodeling Kid going to be there? Oh, I wish. I'm his biggest fan. Mason Ramsey, I'm your biggest fan. I have all your merch. I actually do. I, I'm not joking. <laughs> but the real question is, where's the best place to camp for Area 51? I mean, like there's multiple festivals happening at once here, but the only issue is there's a heavily armed military base between them. So it's not really easy to get to each side. So you kind of have to pick one and stick to it. So guys, the real question is, where should we camp when we go to Area 51? We need answers. So this is like for real going to be a festival. This is this is happening. As a festival now? I guess so. Imagine one of those girls with like light up fur socks and like a bunch of bead bracelets goes up to like the fence and is like, can you play take it off by Kesha DJ? <laughs> Get all oh my property. goodness. Honestly, it's not like a proper festival, but I'm really worried we're going to see like some uh, fire festival outcome from this. But speaking of heavily armed military bases, what does the military actually think of all this? More than 1 million people have signed up for the Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us event slated for late September, in which the Post declares, we can move faster than their bullets. Let's see them aliens. I love how Fox News doesn't even highlight the entire sentence because they want to push this narrative that the majority of people that signed up actually want to Naruto run into Area 51. Come on, Fox News, include the entire sentence. You can clearly see it starts with, if we Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. Meaning it's sarcasm. It's a joke. It's funny. Humor. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I think it's funny. Fox News apparently does not think it's funny, but hey, What's new? It's been enough to spook the Air Force. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I, I don't need to see aliens this bad. I, I would much prefer if no one got hit with that. That would be very great. So please don't cross the border into Area 51. Which doesn't use the term Area 51 to describe the 2.9 million acre live fire training range, the largest in the United States, located at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. One of the many reasons Air Force officials don't want people to trespass on the base they are worried some might be killed. Quote, any attempt to illegally access military installations or military training areas is dangerous. Honestly, I don't feel like they had to respond for us to understand that part. But I love this gem that Fox News decided to just slip in on the end there. It's not clear the 1.1 million Facebook followers who said they are going to storm Area 51 are real and not Russian bots. The fact she's being serious is hilarious and scary at the same time. I don't know how to react, like... <laughs> Really, just go through the people who signed up to attend this event. You can see that it's clearly 
not Russian bots. It's just, it's a viral online joke. The Russian government did not start this Facebook page. You boomers. Oh my goodness. But on that note, I'll be ending today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like on it. If you're new here, I welcome you to the channel. It'll be awesome if you subscribe. If you wanna follow me outside of YouTube, you can find me as Adatozy on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be down in the description down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Since we started, I don't think I gotta say I go the hardest. I've been thinking about my future, go the farthest. And yeah, I got yeah, back yeah. home was in Japan.